lady I think of you in your silver gold web that you've spun is it really for real or just fun I come from a melting pot of African American, Indian American, Indian from India, and uh, also Irish. Long ago, was I really for real or just show? I grew up in a Chinese and Indian neighborhood. Uh, with uh, you know very uh, mixed uh, musical influences and uh, even just in terms of sounds I mean I, I spoke English as of the age of six I didn't speak English before I spoke Dutch so uh, just in terms of uh, you, the, the vocal cords using the voice and and uh, you hear things differently a lot of my musical influences came from uh, the, the travels and trips that I did with my parents. In the West Indies and in the islands where I grew up, you, basically, your parents give you an instrument to, to get you out of the house and <laughs> to have some peace and quiet to get you out of the hair. In Suriname, there were more influences of uh, the Africans that had been brought over as slaves uh, who lived up the Salamakai River. Un, deux, un, deux. You know a bear's got to go Laugh at me, tough as the brakes. I don't gotta take what others take. I rap it like good old French wine. So come on, bear, keep scratching. Come on, make me shine. Thank you. <laughs> Lilies bloom in the spring. With no one to stop and notice their beauty All too often on the run and The person who uh, got me started uh, writing, actually playing the guitar and writing music was a nun who taught me how to play the guitar when I went to Catholic school in Barbados. I was 10 years old and uh, I told her I wanted to play the guitar and she said to me, well, get a guitar and, you know, so I got a guitar and she told me to bring my favorite cassette, my favorite song. And I brought her uh, The Animals, House of the Rising Sun. I hear the sweet falling of the tear. We did my first uh, tours at uh, age 10 and a half, 11. We, uh, Went to all the bars and the hotels and uh, not a lot of the bars, but the hotels anyway at Christmas time uh, to play in the in the bars of the hotels uh, for the children that uh, of the island that didn't have you know uh, as much money or means and so this was our way of you know giving something back to them. So uh, this that's pretty much how I got to music. The irony of the story is that uh, in 2004, Eric Burden and the Animals asked me to do their opening act in Germany for 17 concerts. So it was, you know, it was kind of funny having, you know, admired him as a as a kid, and then 
you know, being on tour with him uh, in, in Germany for 17 concerts, it was, it was, it was quite an honor. You know, and uh, but you know, Sister Teresa was really the the person who got me going in my in my career today. A dim brighter than the morning sun, or a diamond shining in the sky. Je crois que c'est mieux, 425. Tis not a scare. Ça va être bien pour le. Um, avec le, le bombo, le grave de bombo. La baisse de bombo. Si je vais réussir à faire ce que. Oui, c'est ça. Voilà, voilà. Au niveau de tonalité, qu'est-ce que c'est euh, bah, Ça dépend si, si on veut mettre deux, deux sons différents, poum, poum, comme c'est là. Oui. You see, standing up here, it becomes real clear that you gotta give it to take. But you give so much and then some more. So thanks for the time that you take. You see, my music talks a lot about social problems, about um, uh, everyday difficulties. I, I, I like to take the train, for instance, and just listen to people talk around me about their problems because that gives me information for my music and it also uh, gives me an idea of what people are living when the skies aren't blue you I think of this album was in some ways a, a, a birthing or a rebirthing for myself and that you know I, I felt like I gave birth you know is 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 when you when you write something you uh, words or text you don't at least I'm incapable of just writing something. I will not write a baby, baby, I love you song because that's what's going to work. I'll write it if I feel it. But I won't write it just because I know that that's what's going to sell with, you know, with, with uh, this tempo and with this uh, 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 pitch or whatever, or with this arrangement. I'm not just going to write it just because, you know, that's what, you know, people tell me I'm, I'm, I'm going to write. Here's to you. Basically what I did was I tell them what I wanted as a, a general idea. I tell them what the songs were, I tell them what color I wanted. I would literally say I want the song a little more blue or, or this one is, is more yellow or green, you know. And I and I would I would give them hints like that and, and just have them keep going through all the notes and giving me different, you know, just just ideas until I said that's what I want. Shout. Come on and shout when the whole world's gone back. The fifth album, um, which is just coming out, uh, I wanted to dedicate basically to, to the fans because it's really thanks to them that, um, that that I'm doing what I do and I'm doing what I like to do. When the whole world's gone 